This is Star Talk. So Jesse from Vancouver, Canada would like to know this. Given that there is an upper limit or upper speed limit to the universe, being the speed of light, and a lower speed. It's not just a good idea. It's the law. (laughs) (laughs) Buckle up, galaxies. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) You never know. Okay. Um, And there's a lower speed limit. Oh, oh, by the way, the buckling up, uh, you only buckle up because the car, your car changes speed. Right. Not because it exists at any one speed at all. Well, it's the change that's pretty. The change is what will kill you. Yeah. Right. That's why you can be in an airplane going 600 miles an hour at 39,000 feet, and they say, you may now unbuckle your seatbelt. Right, because <laughs> nothing's going to happen. <laughs> right. If, it's, if you maintain your speed, that's not a problem. Yeah. It's if your speed changes, and that's what your seatbelt is for. And I just love that they put seatbelts on airplanes as, well, not, I, I get it for the turbulence, but for the crash, really? <laughs> really? Do you really think that seatbelt's going to We're about to help? crash. Buckle your seatbelt. Yeah, buckle right. up. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. No, my favorite one is like, uh, you know, if you don't uh, bring your seat back up the four inches, you're going to die right. in the crash. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> you're the only one who dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so well, uh, yeah. given there's a lower speed limit, which is the absolute zero temperature, mm-hmm. could velocity be considered a dimension like space, length, width, and depth? Um. Uh, you have to ask where where, where are you going to go with that? What are you going to do with that? Mm-hmm. Because, for example, I, you can have a speed, and then I can slow you down with brakes. Right. Did you change dimension? I mean, where, no, where, where right. are you getting with that? Why? Yeah. Uh, what is the purpose of even having have thinking about it that way? Right. If you want to, by the way, creative thinking is highly a good thing in this world. Okay. But if you do so, ask yourself: Is there something that you will now be able to explain that you couldn't before? Gotcha. Because everything we've constructed about velocity and speed and all of this, it, it, it's, as Einstein said, uh, or was it uh, his protege, uh, said space tells matter how to move and matter tells space how to curve. Wow. Yeah, it's deep. It's That's deep. a great one. Yeah, it's, great. it's deep. So um, in that sense, it's not your speed, but it's the gravity that's creating the dimensionality of the fabric of space, and you can move within that. So we move within the fabric of space. So right. the velocity itself is not, there's no cause to think about it that way. That's gotcha. all. Gotcha. So but uh, I, I applaud the exercise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. very creative thinking, mm-hmm. and your answer, Jesse, is dark matter. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm I will never answer that. one question with something else we don't know anything exactly. about. Exactly. Right? <laughs> See, that's how I do it. No, people do. Right. People, people say, oh, can we explain this thing in terms of consciousness? We don't know what consciousness is, right. so just back up. Right. Right. Give right. it space. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, but see, you know what? That's a that's a great little cheat, though. It is a cheat. It's a great cheat. It's a complete cheat. Yeah. People do it all the time. Yeah. It mm-hmm. Makes. I mean, listen, because I I don't know about this. Well, why don't we think about it in terms of something else we don't know about? <laughs> exactly. That'll answer because it. Because that'll answer it, right? <laughs> I mean, that's very funny. Right. This is Star Talk. 